Hi, Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking up some air fried okra in the Power Air Fry Oven Elite. So anytime you want some tasty fried okra, you can try it air fried style in the Power Air Fry Oven Elite. So let's get started now. All right, so here are the ingredients. I've got one bag of okra. Not really sure how much. Uh, got this from a friend and so uh, they grow it. So just gonna be cooking this up. You can kind of see based on my hand or a plate about how much is in the bag. I've got myself two large eggs that I've whisked. I've got one cup of milk you can use. I'm using unsweetened vanilla almond milk, but you can use regular cow's milk if you prefer. I've got one ounce of black pepper, one ounce of applewood smoked sea salt. So it's smoked salt that I like to use. Give it a nice smoked flavor to it. I've got one cup of yellow corn meal, one cup of all-purpose flour, and I've got myself some cooking spray. So to start, just going to take and mix in the, uh, the milk with the eggs. Just whisk that up a little bit. Get that nice and whisked. Going to take the flour, going to, I'm going to use this larger bowl here. Sorry about that noise. Put that flour in there. Put that cornmeal in there. Put that salt in there. I mean, that pepper. A lot of pepper. A lot of salt. But, you know, this coating won't coat, you know, won't all be eating. eaten. That's just, uh, some mix and most of that probably will not be used so it's not like I'm going to eat a whole ounce of salt. <laughs> but get this mixed up good. All right, got everything together now. I'm going to take my okra and I'm just going to basically have my okra go for, whoops, go for a swim is what I was going to say. So, no problems with the bag calling in because it was all going in anyway. So just kind of get it mixed up good there in that egg wash. Make sure it gets good and coated. I did not uh, press any of the slime or rinse any of the slime that might be on okra off of these. I'm just going to cook these straight up by the way. Now you just take the spoon you kind of drain them, you know, let the spoon kind of drain some of that fluid off. You don't want to put too much fluid off into your batter. So, got it nice and drained. Drop them into my batter. Try and get them covered up there. And get some more. Get it nice and drained. Get into the batter. Get some more drained. Make sure you drain it good. Get it off into the batter. Drain some more. Almost done. At this point. May even have to start getting some out of the batter. At this point, we got uh, so much in there. I think I'm gonna start getting some out. So, you gotta just uh, shake, shake it off. You can strain it if you want, you know, however you wanna get that, get your okra out and keep some of your batter that you'll need. All right, we're gonna go with that there. So from this point, I'm going to just slide things over a little bit. I'm just going to, I'm going to open the door before I start spraying. I'll just spray them right in front of the door before I slide them in. So, start spraying with my cooking spray. Try and get this okra nice and wet. Up to our top rack. Get that plate out the way. I'm going to take this little rack. Spray these real good. I'm 
All right, that on there. So now we're gonna close it up. We're gonna hit our French fry button. They're just 400 degrees. I'm gonna take it down to 10 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. It's gonna be a watchful 10 minutes. I'm trying to see when that top rack gets fully cooked. I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, the 10 minutes is up. So let's see. All right, it looks like um, things fried over pretty decent. There are a few little spots that were just a little, just a minor number of small spots. And you can see that lower roll, just a couple of small spots that need to touch up. That's all, just a small touch. But they're frying pretty good. I'm gonna swap them. Put the bottom, well, the lower one on the top and the top one down on the middle. And go put them back in. I'm gonna give them, and hit that french fry button again. And although I'm setting for five, I'm gonna be watching real close. So, I'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, there's two minutes left. But I'm gonna stop it here. So they basically ran for three more minutes after that 10 minutes, 13 minutes total. And you can see our air fried okra. Doesn't look bad there. And move this one out the way. And check out this one. He doesn't look too bad either. I guess if you want them more brown, you could go longer to cook them browner. And stop this. But this is our air fried okra here. So I'm just going to get myself a little plate. We'll plate some and I'm sure if some of you want that deeper fry, you could, you know, just cook it longer. I got some uh, underside, there's a little whiteness there. Get a couple of those, get a couple from this tray. Let's get one more from here. Since that one kind of, well, it looks like some of the stuff fell off there on the bottom. On this side of this one, it didn't fall off very much. And this one didn't fall off very much on there. So, I'm gonna just go ahead, swap the camera around. We'll do a taste test of this air fried okra. All right, so our air fried okra, let's taste test this air fried okra. Let's try one more. definitely good. So basically, this is how you do fry, air fried okra. You can do it your way, your style. And there's other great recipes for the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite, for the New Wave Oven, for the Range Made Pro, all at superwaveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. Amazon, the Amazon shop, if you're looking for buying cookers or accessories or other things you want to buy for your, your kitchen, Go to amazon.com slash shop slash wave oven recipes. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and good eating.